Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And today is take two on the uh, Anytone AT778 UV radio. Um, we started out in my last video just giving you a behind the scenes view on how I do radio reviews usually. And um, to be honest, that was staged just to show how it's done. It's not the review of that radio. The review will be coming in my next video because I still need a couple of more days to just evaluate this radio. But without saying too much, I actually like this radio very, very much. And this radio is part of my deal with AliExpress. Um, AliExpress gives me some credits to get stuff and review for you guys. And um, this radio was part of it. And uh, if you don't know what AliExpress is, AliExpress is an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything. And by anything, I mean anything. Anything from ham radio gadgets to clothes to auto parts to well, not full-size planes. Um, I've tried searching for planes on AliExpress. Can't find anything, but I found campers. So I'm pretty close. And I don't even think you can get some cars on there. Not sure that I'd buy a car off of AliExpress or a camper, but I'd certainly buy ham radio gear. Anyway, um, today we're going to talk about how to program this little radio. Um, it's actually not that little. It's a medium-sized mobile radio actually it's somewhere in between the really tiny chinese ones and the regular japanese ones but um let's go ahead and um see how programming is done and before we start programming i just want to talk a little bit about uh the ergonomics of the radio per se or how the radio is laid out so you can get somewhat of a picture of um what the different programming options are because the radio has six programmable functions button in the front which is really nice and on the screen there are functions to that button so when you press the function button uh the function <laughs> changes so you have pretty much every setting on the front panel which is really really nice on this radio but for programming, I'd like to use Chirp when Chirp is available, and Chirp is available for this radio. So let's fire up Chirp and uh, see how this is done. And here we are in Chirp. And as long as a radio is Chirp programmable, I actually recommend you to uh, program the radio with Chirp because you can share repeaters and stuff through many different radios. I don't usually do that though, but um, just as an example. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do here is a read from the radio. We're gonna press the radio tab here, plugging in the programming cable. You gotta remember to put that into the mic slot here. Uh, it's just an RJ45 connector. Uh, just make sure you plug it in until you hear a click and it's all the way in. So let's press radio and download from radio. And we're gonna choose the port first. I know that that's this prolific uh, port here. Gonna choose vendor, it's an Anytone, and it's a uh, 778. And it pops up that it's an experimental support in Chirp. I've done this already, so I know it's okay. Press yes, and then press okay. And then it starts reading from the radio. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed this up because this is significantly slow. And I honestly don't see why they can't make this any faster. As Steve T.O. said in his latest video, talking about the exact same radio, uh, although that was the retievous edition of this, because this radio comes in a whole different, uh, a lot of different models. But um, what I have is the Anytone uh, radio. And as far as I know, this is actually made by Anytone. And it's just badge engineered until onto the other radios. But let's speed it up again. There we go. We're all good. And um, you can see here that I already have some uh, repeaters programmed in. So I'm just going to add at least one and, uh, and show you how that's done. So let's go ahead and add the repeater. And it's 145.625 here. And that's hooked up. Uh, it has a tone. So we're going to select tone here. And the tone is 74.4. Uh, no tone squelch, nothing. We're going to have a duplex with a minus. That means it's a negative shift. 
of uh, 0.6 megahertz. And as we're in Europe, it's narrow FM. And we're going to put this on high because this repeater is relatively far away. We're going to add a simplex as well. So you can see how that is done. Let's add the two meter call 145.500. Let's call it a two meter call. Uh, no tone, nothing. Still narrow FM. And we're also going to put this on high. Just so, um, well, when calling a two meter simplex, you want to reach as far as possible usually. Um, and then you can go into the settings here. Uh, and here you can uh, do the regular stuff. Um, set the uh, step frequency or the frequency step you can set uh, different modes and different buttons and then you have the key assignment here and you can set what every key is supposed to be here so we got that all set up uh, everything is good I want to keep it the way it is then it's time to write to the radio we again choose the radio tab upload to radio we have the same radio, the same port, press OK. And it starts writing to the radio. And I can actually show you how this looks on the radio, though. I'm just going to take my other camera and film it at the same time so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, it says PC write on this. And uh, when reading from radio, it says PC read. And that's actually how simple it is. Let's speed this up again. And we're almost done here. There we go. We are done and everything's written to the radio. So I'm gonna pick up my other camera again and um, I'm gonna try to do this handheld and show you uh, just the way it is. So we're gonna press the channel here in order to switch channels. And you can see that those two repeaters we programmed in are programmed. So programming works in this radio and it's actually really, really simple. So um, if you have one of these radios and you've been struggling on how to program it, and I've actually heard that um, the, the standard CPS software isn't any good. I've tried it, I couldn't make it work. So I just did chirp and everything worked straight away. And that's the thing about amateur radio. Um, it's not, let's say amateur radio software isn't always polished and works the way you want it to. And that, my friends, is how easy you can program this radio. I hope you liked this little walkthrough. My next video will be a full review of this radio. And uh, as I said, I still need a couple of days, but I guess the verdict is, is pretty much in. I, I like this thing because it's it's easily accessible for all the major functions. It's easy to operate from the front panel in the field. So I guess this is the radio that will come with me to the European Ham Radio Show meetup in Bornholm. Because, well, if you need to program a repeater on the fly, this is the radio. I wouldn't take my Anytone uh, 578 on, on the road without having an, everything programmed in. But this radio just simply works. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you watched this far and didn't like it, thumbs down so I know that you didn't like it and get some statistics that are re relevant for me. It also helps the algorithm whether you click the thumbs up or the thumbs button. And do consider subscribing. I've noticed that uh, quite a few of my viewers aren't subscribed. I'd like to have you as a subscribers. I do a lot of different videos. So uh, if you subscribe and perhaps click that bell, you'll get notified when I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.